Good morning, my lovelies. Welcome back to my channel, Melly's Yarn and Book Adventure. I'm Melly. Today's video is Vlogmas Day 3. Right? It is Day 3? Yes, yeah, Day 3. Um, using my phone today because my iPad um, case is starting to get a little raggedy and it's not standing up very well on its own. And... I had to prop you up on something and it was still being weird and it was just not a good time. So I decided to use my phone and see if my videos come out a little bit better. I realized the angle of my last two videos was just weird. Um, anyway, I digress. Welcome back to my channel. Like I said, I'm Melly. Today is December 3rd and it is if my watch wants to cooperate. 7.37 in the morning. My last child, my 17-year-old, has just left for school. I was waiting for her to leave while I was making my tea to go catch her bus um, before I started recording because she finds it weird that I talk to a camera. Well, she doesn't find it weird. She finds it weird that I do it. Because, <laughs> you know, I'm the nerdy mom that uh, is weird. I'm wearing a hat today. I'm a little bit cold. My hair's a little bit of a mess. So, excuse that. Anyway, if you're new to the channel, welcome. I hope you enjoyed my vlog message. They're not very high tech. It's just me recording on my phone, being a weirdo. But I embrace it. Anyway, um, if you enjoy my videos, please like. Please subscribe and please share. I think I forgot to say that in the last two videos because I'm trying to jump back into the everyday thing or at least, you know, the vlogging thing. And I haven't done it. It was always sporadic. It was kind of like when the mood struck me. Anyway, um, if you want to check out my other social media, you can find me at Goya Snow um, on Instagram, G O Y A S N O W. I told you guys I would tell you a story about that, and I'm going to tell you as soon as I'm done um, giving you my social media. You can find me on Twitter at Melly Mel80. It's M E L L I underscore M E L 80. I'm not as active on Twitter, uh, usually whatever I share on Instagram, I share on Twitter, so you can do one or the other, whichever one you're active on, you can do both, I don't care, whatever, um, okay, so before I get into my advent calendar, oh, I forgot to light my candle, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hey. that out if I could get this working but Evan calendar we're going to light it for the day and I have to cross oh I have to cross off yesterday's and the day before Evan calendar lit we'll put this back over here out of the way so it doesn't light anything on fire I have my tea today it is Harney and Sons Victor London Victorian London Fog, I think that's what it's called. And it's just a black tea. I think it's, I don't know what it's got in it. It's like a smoky kind of tea. Usually I put milk in it, today I did not. Anyway, on to the good stuff. Because I've already been talking for four minutes and... Yammering, yammering. Okay. So, we remember. This is Monday's. Let's put that 
here. This was yesterday's. Put that here. Put that here. Let's get out our list. Let's get out our little die so we doesn't we don't lose it. Today is the third. I did say that today is the third. So let's find number three. What color is number three? Number three is probably going to be dumped. No, that's five. That's 14, 10, 15, 8, 17, 12, 7, 9, 4, which means the 3 is probably here. 3. 3 is blue. At least for me, it's blue. I don't know if she did each day a specific color for everybody. But here is number 3. Da, 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 da. Now, I hope that my camera does not cut out on me again, but I'm using my phone, so hopefully that will make a difference. I'm trying not to rip the number, so when I take my photo, but I'm also trying not to rip the packaging. Because I want to save it, but it looks like I put a hole in it, but it can always be retaped. Ooh, I'm so excited, and I just can't hide it. It is a beautiful gray with blue running through. I don't know if you guys can see that. Can you see that? And I think those two together would be awesome. But I like it, I like it, I like it, I like it, I like it. Maybe fold that up so that I can take my photo later. So today's colorway, oop, about to drop it, is called Orc, Orc Warrior. I'm going to have to look up what these names are and what these um, characters from D&D &D look like. But it's, I would say, a soft gray with some Mm, darker spots and some blue I would say black almost black like a dark charcoal gray so this is like a soft gray and it's got some dark I don't know if you can the light is not that great but it's got some dark I want to open it up and I'm afraid that I won't be able to get it back as pretty as it was so I like it so far these are the three colors. Actually, that would look even nice with that. Pretty, pretty. Can you see that? That would look nice together because it's got the blue in it. And the gray, I think gray and purple look really nice together. But these are the three. Oh, I keep dropping things. These are the three for the day so far. So we have Magic Aura, is this one, Troll, and then Orc Warrior. So let's put you in here. I will take a picture of you later to put on Instagram, and we're done with that. Now. What else is going on in the day and life of Melly? What adventures am I getting up to? Okay. So, I have... Oh, I just keep dropping things today. I don't know what's going on. I have finished my son's socks. I am not going to block them because he doesn't care one way or the other. I have had him try one on. Here's, here's what I told him. Hey, his name is Lewis, but I call him Papito because that's just my husband's name is Lewis too, and they call him Papi. So it's kind of like instead of dad or father or daddy, it's Papi. Um, and so Papito is like, instead of saying little Louie, it's like, 
I guess little Papi, which is little, like, Lucito, which is little Louis. But Louis' mom, my mother-in-law, calls my husband Lucito because his father's name, who was Louis, so he was Lucito, and it felt funny. I mean, my husband does call him Lucito, but I do not. I call him Papito. I don't know why. It just was something that when he was a baby, it was like, Papi, my little Papi, my little baby, my little, my little Louie. It's kind of like us saying little Louie without saying little Louie. Anyway, so I said, Papito, can you do me a favor? Um, I have to send your socks to Santa so that he can finish them off and get everything nice and, and neat. And, we, you know, the, the ends weaved in and all the little things that I don't do. But I need to make sure that they fit you first. Because, again, I, I know I told the story. However, um, it never made it into the video because YouTube sucks. Um, he loves the idea of Christmas magic. Anyway, so he tried it on and it fit. And let me show you what happened. He tried on the one that is a little bit bigger. And the reason why it is now a little bit bigger is because he's, he's blocked the sock. So I could have him try on the other one, but what's the point? So, I finished the socks. Now, I gotta put them with the rest of them. Now, do you remember yesterday I told you guys that I had that yarn that did not want to be knit, and so I started to crochet it? Well, it started giving me some issues, and I literally threw it across the room because it's like the, the, I don't know what it was. Oh, excuse me. I'm not sure what it was, but it just was not liking me or something. I don't think it, I don't know. But, so I, I, literally, I literally chucked it across the room from where I'm sitting. Then I went and picked it up and put it away, and I said, you're on timeout, and that's the end of you. What do I, but I need to knit a pair of Christmas socks. And I forgot that I had from last year that I didn't want to knit actual Christmas sock wool. Not in the same, I mean, I have, West Yorkshire Spitters Christmas wool, and I think it's like the holly berry color. I only got one. Um, and I may, I'm not sure what I'm going to do with it, but I'm going to start a pair of socks for Advent. They don't take me long, which is why I'm not going to worry that I started three days late with it. I'm going to knit myself a pair of shorty socks, all in one color. And then if I have any yarn left of this, I'll use this for my heels and toes, for my holly berry. Because even though it'll be weird in different colors, I think it'll be cool. And that will be a Christmas cast, Christmas Eve cast on. Because it'll be sparkly. Hopefully this doesn't give me any trouble. We'll see. It's actual sock wool. So, fingers crossed. Fingers crossed. So, I'm also working on the sweater. But I'm going to sit and drink my tea. Start these socks. I may go and start... Not start. I may go and uh, work on that sweater because... It really, like, if I want to give it to my daughter for Christmas, I need to work on it. If I want to give it to her for Three Kings, which we do celebrate, then I cannot stress so much. So, my goal or my plan is to, if I don't make it, finish it by Christmas Eve, then I will just keep working on it and working on it until I get it done for Three Kings. And if I give it to her after her birthday is in March, I can always give it to her for her birthday, which would probably be pointless because winter's almost over. But we'll see how that goes. Maybe I should have started the sweater earlier. Who knows? Anyway. So I have one work in progress, one finished object, and that's it. I mean, I have other ones works and progresses, but they're in timeout, or rather, they're projects that 
are like long term. Like I'm not worried about them. I don't have a goal. Like I have a blanket that I'm working on. I might have a square blanket that I'm working on, which uh, is long term. Like that's like when I really don't feel like working on socks or anything else. I'll just pick that up for a few rows or whatever. I have a crochet drunken granny stripe. all cow thingy that I was working on but I'm not feeling it um but that's about it all right so I think I'm doing pretty good I'm not putting any pressure on myself for Christmas presents oh I have a story to tell and it is knitting related okay so on Tuesday What's today? Friday, Thursday, Wednesday. On Wednesday, was at work, and I wore my Christmas, yeah, because Wednesday was the first. I wore my Christmas shawl. So, one of my customers, um, well, it was three ladies together, and they were probably somewhere late 20s, mid 30s, I don't know. So, like, they were younger, definitely younger than me. Saw so my shawl. She goes, oh, my God, that is so pretty. It's so festive. And I said, oh, thank you. And she's like, oh, where did you get it? And I said, oh, I made this. And she's like, oh, my God, that's so talented. Like, I said, I, I knit. I said, this is crochet, but I knit and I crochet. She's like, oh, you know, do you sell your stuff? And I'm like, mm, not really, like, because it's kind of hard to price things. And I've had experiences where somebody has asked me to make something. I've had a friend ask me to make a blanket or a family friend of my husband's asked me to make a twin size blanket where I gave her the the yarn, what it cost and how much I would need and said, do you want to buy it or do you want me to buy it? And she said, I'll buy it, but I got to get to the store. And I said, but I work in the store. I used to work in AC Moore. And she was like, no, I'll buy it. I'll buy it. So I said, okay, well, Here's the cost of the yarn, and this is what it's going to be. And then you buy the yarn, and I'll charge you like 40 bucks. Because I figured she was buying the yarn, I wouldn't have to add the cost of the yarn onto the blanket. And I figured $40 is a pretty reasonable price for a twin size blanket. $40 is what you pay in the store, right? For a machine made blanket. You know, I was. I was she wanted it for a Christmas present. I was like, I could do it. Okay, because she saw the blanket that I made my husband. Week goes by, I don't hear anything. So I message her. Because it's like November. No, it's like, yeah, it's about November. I say, hey, you know, did you buy the yarn? Do you want to drop it off? No, I didn't get to the store yet. I said, okay. Do you want me to buy it? No, I'm okay. Uh, my sister's going to take me. Like, I got, like, all, every excuse in the book. Okay. So then another week goes by, and I text her. And I go, hey, you know, it's getting kind of close to Christmas. I do need time to make it. Do you want me to make it? Like, are you still, do you still want this blanket? Yeah, but $40 is a lot of money for a blanket. I said, well, it would actually cost you more if I bought the yarn because I would add the cost of that into the time that it would take me to make a blanket, I can't do it in one day. It takes at least two weeks. If I did this all day, not all day, all day, but throughout the day, every day. If I focused on only that and did nothing, no other projects. I said you would pay about $40 in the store for a blanket of, you know, twin size. Yeah, okay, well, I got to see if my sister still wants to take me. And then I never heard anything again. And I said, okay, that's the end of that. She never really was interested. She kind of wanted it cheaper than that, or she wanted it, like, I'll buy the, you buy the yarn, I'll do it for free. No, that's not the way things work. I don't work for free. You know, I have a job, an actual job that pays me for my time. So why shouldn't you pay me for my time if I'm making you something? So I kind of, I kind of decided that, if I make something for somebody, it's not because they asked me to. It's because it's a gift that I'm, like, I thought about this person and said they would like this. 
except for specific people. Like if my family asked me to make me something, then I wouldn't charge them. Um, and, you know, certain people I would say, okay, I'll make it, you know, whatever. Like my brother asked me to make, oh, crap, I got to do that, don't I? I guess I should start that. I have to make a dog sweater for my brother, and I could do it for Christmas. But it's a tiny little dog sweater, so I could probably do it. But I guess I'll start, I'll start that today. At least I'll try. I'm glad I reminded myself because he asked me to make him a sweater for his, his puppy. Well, whoop, it's not, ugh. Not, it's not a puppy, it's a chihuahua, so it's tiny. Anyway, um, so there's my story of the day. Oh, wait, no, I kind of went off track with this. Anyway, anyway, um, yeah, so she was, like, asking me, and I was like, okay, you know, and I did what I did with everybody else. Here's a website for where I buy my yarn. Because she was like, oh, I want a scarf and some... A scarf like a rainbow scarf and matching socks okay here's where here's where um, the website uh, hobby.com it's overseas here's what I shop go to check out she's like okay what's your number I gave her my phone number she's like oh don't worry about it price is not a problem money is not a problem I understand the work involved Okay, good. I'm, you know, I'm glad. I said, do me a favor. Go look at the yarn. Um, for socks, I need two balls. For a scarf, depending on the size of the ball, you got to let me know. But I need two balls for socks, and I need at least three balls for a scarf. If you want it super long, like a super long scarf. So, I need five balls of something total. Go see what you like on the website, and then let me know. I'm not going to, I mean, she called, she did call my phone so she could save the number, but whether or not she actually will call me is another thing. I'm going to charge her about 50 bucks for the work. 50, 60, comment down below and let me guys know. If it's a scarf and socks, socks take me about a week. A scarf, I don't know. I said it would have to be made after the holidays because I'm doing other things. So if that if you're okay with that, and plus with shipping and everything, if you order this yarn, then I was like I you know then it's gonna take time to get get to you or to me if you wanna send it to me, whatever. So we'll see what happens with that. Now my story time is over. But anyway, leave me a comment down below. Let me know like I've always found it hard to sell stuff. I mean unless somebody's Specifically, again, ask me, can you make me this? I will pay you. Okay. If I already have the yarn, here's what it's going to cost you. Because I don't have to buy yarn, which I have tons of yarn. So, um, if it's something you want specific and you want a specific color that I don't have, then I have to go buy the yarn. And depending on where I get the yarn, whatever. But I find, and usually, like, I have sold stuff a few times. And I have been paid, and it wasn't a big deal. And it was people I knew, like, not, it was like friends, friends. And so I know I probably underpriced my work, but at that time I was just starting out and I didn't really think anything. Anyway, comment down below, let me know ideas on how to price if she really does, um, contact me again like I'm not holding my breath but if she does contact me again all right so books book adventures what am I reading well I have two Kindles I have my daughter's Kindle that I bought her at the beginning of the year or last year last year um during our lovely quarantine lockdown whatever you want to call it which she kind of was like, uh, after a while, she got kind of got tired of it. I think she likes the physical book, which I do too. I like physical books also, so. And I am reading, what am I reading? I am reading, I am reading, a holiday, a holiday, come on about this book, a holiday by Gaslight, a Victorian Christmas novella. And it's by Mimi Matthews. And it's 174 pages. And I am on page 62. 
and let's the description of the book says a courtship of convenience sophie epperset is quite willing to marry outside of her class to ensure the survival of her family but the darkly handsome mr edward sharp is no run-of-the-mill london merchant he's a grim he's grim and silent a man of little emotion or perhaps no emotion at all after two months of courtship she's ready to put an end to things a last chance for love but severing ties with her taciturn taciturn suitor isn't as straightforward as sophie envisions her parents are outraged and then there's charles darwin prince albert and that dreaded gaslight What's a girl to do except invite Mr. Sharp to Apperset House for Christmas and give him one last chance to win her? Only this time, there will be no false formality. This time, they'll get to know each other for who they really are. Now, this book was... I can't remember what it was compared to. I'm not really remembering. Like, I, it, it made me think of another story, a, a classic. Like, it's, like it's inspired by something, but I can't think of what it is. But I'm enjoying it so far for 62%, or 60, on page 63 of 170-something, whatever I said. I'll probably continue some of that. But for now, um, that's it. I've been talking for almost 28 minutes, and um, it's going to take some time to download. So I'm going to let you guys go. I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you enjoyed my yarn opening, ad my yarn advent opening today. I hope I've inspired you to read a book, pick up your needles or your crochet hook, or your spindle if you spin because I actually have been spinning when I can't sleep last night I came downstairs about 11 ish and was like oh, I can't sleep and spun some yarn and it 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 calmed me enough to it didn't make me sleepy but it calmed my mind that I was like okay I can go put on some music on my phone and fall asleep and I did so I hope I've inspired you today to get creative and crafty, no matter what it is you do. If you knit, crochet, spin, read, draw, paint, color, embroider, whatever it is that, that makes you happy. I'll talk to you guys tomorrow. Oh, heads up real quick. Tomorrow is Saturday. I work, so I'll probably do my video when I get home from work at night because it'll be quiet at night versus during the day. So you probably will not get a video for Saturday until Sunday morning. And then Sunday morning, Sunday, you may get a video Sunday evening, but it'll be later because I work all day. Oh, no, I'm lying. I don't work all day. I have off because it's Sunday is my son's birthday. Oh, Lord. Um, but I'm going to be out all day. I may record some stuff for, to you know, if we go to the Christmas market, which I'm not sure if we're going to do after we take my son to his Dave and Buster's feast. Um, but I'll record some stuff and see if maybe I can figure out how to throw the clips in. Um... But you'll get a video Sunday, but later on in the night, same as tomorrow. Um, so, there's that. So, I will talk to you guys tomorrow. Um, don't forget to like, subscribe, thumbs up, or thumbs down, doesn't matter. If, if you're not happy with me, I'm sorry you feel that way. But I hope maybe you give me another chance. Um, leave a comment below, let me know what you thought, and I will see you guys later. Bye.